Welcome everyone to a Wednesday edition of Squad Ops One Life event. We got Operation Power Play Part 5 tonight. Playing again on Manic with the CAF and Militia Forces going head to head. Uh, I am Wilbur and alongside me tonight I have a special guest. An OG of the Squad Ops community. Jack. Jack, introduce yourself. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm uh, excited to be here tonight. It's going to be a fun op. Yeah, this is the, we've, this first time we've run this one, but the other power plays have always been fun. Squad leaded in a couple of them. I will have to say, as a player, it was exciting. Uh, glad to have you aboard. Uh, a lot of knowledge inside that head, and I uh, want to try to get as much of it out as I possibly can. But uh, before we go on too further, let me post the op doc for you all so you can follow along and what we are talking about when we're going over it. Uh, tonight, we are going to be getting, like I said, the Canadian Armed Forces against the Militia. And the Canadians are going to start out with their loadout of 1SL, 2 FTLs, which can be Riflemen, 2 AR2, Latin, 2 Medic, and then across the platoon, they'll spread out 2 Hats, 2 MGs, and Crewmen as needed. Uh, they'll be getting one trans truck with zero ammo, of course, and then two Logi trucks with 500 ammo and 1,000 build. And then the commander for tonight has decided to take the LAV3 Mark II. And then FOB and Logistics, they'll be getting one FOB, one mortar, various defensive, uh, defensive structures, and no command support. What is going on with the militia side? Uh, so for the militia side, we got one squad lead per squad, uh, two fire team leaders, and one medic. Uh, then there is the camp cache, which is platoon wide kits. They have two times AR, four times lat, two times hat, with no vehicles, no FOBs, and they have no commander abilities over here in militia. So I'm excited to see how they handle up going against the LAV3. Yeah, not having the Canadian forces inside the mod kind of hurting our command support <laughs> and some other things but one of these days we'll get it and uh let's let's see who's going to be doing it for us on round one we got in the canadian forces we got lawn darts in command his two ic is going to be sergeant jackson you know the rest of his sls will be alpha guido stalker della note making a return and dick's folk how about militia militia command we got oddball taking over the uh, platoon with his two ic rain man Following up squad leads with Rubba, Fulcrum, and Frost. What's going on, General? Alright, guys, other round. Yo, Two rooftop. Yep. Sir, and, uh, sir, welcome, sir. everybody. Welcome, everybody, to Operation Alpha. This is part five in the unfolding series uh, of the militia versus the Canadians. Uh, the enemy team has some hackers that they've taken hostage. Those hackers are located. Uh, conveniently, if you look at your maps, you'll see an Echo 6. So our mission is to assault and liberate those hackers and or gain intel from the enemy communications equipment, which will be in the form of a FOB radio. Once we have either rescued the hostages and or gotten the intel from the FOB radio by digging it down, destroying it, this is our exfil location here in Charlie 49. Uh, to do this, we're going to have uh, Jackson and... Stalker Deadline squad deploying in Charlie 7 down on the south. They're going to be proceeding east, northeast onto the target compound. Dick's Folk squad is going to be moving from live uh, on foot in the general direction of uh, Echo 5. That uh, with a uh, helicopter mark, so in that general area. And the squad who I'll mark with a, uh, uh, I'll give him a fob marker, I won't, that's ambiguous. He'll be heading to Foxtrot 4, and the LAV will be popping up on the damn wall, not at the beginning of the mission, but uh, probably 10-15 uh, minutes in, to provide suppressive fire down the guts of the valley. Now, I expect the militia to have a forward defence, so if you check your maps, you'll see these arrows. I would expect them to be all over this terrain. I don't mind if they push out between our two elements, our northern group and our southern group, um, because it will allow us to either isolate those groups and uh, take them out, or essentially just, you know, ignore them once we come to assault the compound squad leaders will be asking for aggression that means that you don't stay prone that means you throw smoke throw grenades you suppress bound just like we didn't basically get into type compounds you clear them out uh, right. as other than that uh, any questions
do we know right, well, yep. for which like so if we're going up you know like you said in that direction are we going to know any basis of where which cardinal direction they could be or could they just be anywhere going up that ridge line uh they uh they are trying to keep those hostages secure so uh expect them obviously to be very cluttered in the echo 62 area and uh they could spread out from there as as far as their little legs will carry them so uh once we hit live uh start uh keeping your 360 up and, and looking out for the enemy team okay copy that oh one last thing um the way the sun shines in, on this terrain it's it's preferable to assault from the west uh, it gives you good view down onto the sunlit areas so you can pick out targets. Um, so if I go down, your leadership goes down. Try and avoid uh, assaulting and circling around the compound on the eastern side because it's it's lit up like a Christmas tree and make you a big target. But other than that, let's, uh, let's get ready for life, guys. Everyone have fun. Oh, there you go. We got the Canadian Armed Forces <laughs> brief, and we are live with round one. Uh... I think it's a pretty solid plan. Uh, it's not over here, no. Bondarts no. is going to separate his forces. He's got two squads going down to the south side for a push. Uh, one squad going to the north for a push with the LAV sitting on the dam as Overwatch. And he brought up a really good point that the sun is going to be lighting up that compound. Actually, we need to head over to that compound and look at it. So he regarded his forces to be wary of getting into that sunshine on this compound and trying to keep themselves in the shadows. Oh, this building is worse. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a death trap of a building. So many, like this entrance is gonna be hard. Is it just this one door? Yeah, the two the two ladders take them up to the roof, and there's the one door. Oh man! <laughs> oh, that sucks. And we see one squad of militia forces who are in red, and the Canadian forces will be in blue. We see one squad moving towards the northwest. Looks like they're gonna set up some type of line defense and do some type of observation to see from where militia or the CAF forces start. Any interesting comms coming across from uh, the militia? Not right now. Uh, Oddball's plan, pretty much. He just wants to spread his squads out and push them out into a perimeter around the objective. And then they want to collapse on top of the enemy once they get engaged. Ah. And it looks like Squad 4 just called out from the militia, just called out either Squad 3 or the vehicle from Canadians. Probably squad three. They ran right down the ridge in an open spot. Malicious calling potential contact soon to the north of their objective. That's very correct. Got one squad that's in a vehicle going down the long way on the back side of the ridge to get to the south. Hopefully the LAV gets on the dam sooner than later. Where is the LAV? Well, the LAVs it's, uh, were going down following. south. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, maybe they can do a, a south attack. I'm looking at a road that's on the south side. It's a it's an incline road worth a Y intersection. Maybe they can sit on that and get some get some good views on the compound. Yeah, that road you're talking about, Oddball, Militia Commander, actually just told Squad 3 to set up a, de a ambush defense around that intersection. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hope he only has the lat. And it uh, looks like they have Audible of gunshots to the north of Squad 4. Not, not too bad. I mean, it's pretty obvious we're going to ram where you are, Tom. I haven't heard any gunshots. Maybe, maybe they got an ND. Just turn my game volume back up. I forgot that I had it down a little bit so I could hear you. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're about to have some contact right here between Squad 4 Militia and Squad 3 of Canada. They're walking right on top of the Militia forces here. It doesn't look like Militia forces are anywhere in the rest of the town from what I can see. 
Yeah, Alpha's calling out that he doesn't see any militia forces inside the town. Yeah, this is some unfortunate ground that Canada actually needs to cross here for Squad 3. Uh, I believe it's Dick's, Dick Folks? 4, yeah. This ground's really hard to traverse. It's hard to keep any kind of formation. And you're very, very exposed when walking on the open parts. Yeah, and you got to also worry about audio cues going around those rocks. Uh, you hear the crumbling. That always gives you away. I wonder why they don't make grass louder. <laughs> uh, there's uh, audio in this game. Uh, depending on your headset, uh, footsteps are very loud or very quiet. Oh yeah, when I'm playing, I have everything like boosted up a little bit further, and I hear a lot of footsteps. But it'd be nice to just hear the grass moving when someone walks by. It's a it's a want, not a need. It looks like Stormfront uh, rocking the C6 right now. That's a Canadian 240. Going to walk right on top of Rainman and uh, Fire Team Allen. We're about to see our first contact here. Uh, Here another ND. Yeah, I think Storm found the perfect avenue just to go in between hey, this fire Echo team uh, or two fire teams. Two times individuals. Repeat Echo five eight one Dix right ahead of Lima Bean. Whole squad team weapons free. One of my of our teams engage this contact. So one of the three of your weapons free. And then we got squad four militia engaging this Canadian squad here. Our first firefight of the night. Mass is squad three. I have contacts um southwest. That's got to be silent on the AR. A little mini base of fire set up here by the Canadian Squad 3, putting shots down onto Rubba. And already, one of Militia Squad leads goes down on the south fighting there. The rubber pelican taken out, Gonzo guy taken over as squad lead. Have them make sure they identify their targets because a lot of green people running around looking at it is hard to tell enemy. It does. It does look like they're going to start getting wrapped around by those forces towards the southwest. They're moving higher up the hill. Four, you want to go ahead and get around on my left side where you have contact to our south and direct contact uh, to our east. Jackson's calling out that he's got contacts to his south and his east, asking Stalker Delano to come assist. Yeah, squad three is about to wrap all on top of the Canadian squad here from the militia. We got Hawk. And Quantum flanking behind this Canadian line. I do like that uh, the Canadian Forces guns sound completely and totally different from everyone else's. Alright, Command, my guys are going to start moving south right now. We're going to uh, move along. Straight towards the objective, see what we can do. Roger, understood. These Canadian sections are in a lot of trouble here. There's a lot of militia forces pushing them, and they don't have that much cover. Yeah, it's like they're laying on the outside of the trees. Contact Charlie 875, fire team element. Roger, Charlie 875. 
Ooh. Good shot by a rather Scottish chap. Gets deer with a... I'm pretty sure that was a uh, an airburst. LAV's up on the dam. Probably not in position yet just to provide some cover. I mean, they're not going to provide much cover with everyone down here on the south. Too much, too much of a chance of injuring your own forces. Update on contact Charlie eight seven one one EK. Excellent. For if you can make sure you kill my Sergeant Jackson, the stalker just got put right into the middle of a pickle jar. Doing a good way of working their way out of it and getting back down into the compound. Yeah, these militias, these militia guys really need to get a move on, try and put the pressure on them. The smoke is up and covering. Militia be, should be trying to push across the road and take the fight to the Canadians. Do not let them get out of this. We got multiple contacts to our east. Agreed. Yeah, east. once you once you get that contact, if they're popping smoke. That means they're trying to pull back. You need to be a little bit more aggressive but it does seem like it's only what two people up there three people two people bottom and hawk yeah they had the canadian sections there in a lot of trouble and uh they popped some smoke put some fire down and the canadian sections were able to pull out relatively unscathed it looks like kill count real quick we're still a little even canadians have got five kills and militia forces have got four if you can make sure you leave a buddy pair well to your west just to guard your rear definitely feel this is one of those ops where it's going to be a low kill count and then all of a sudden it's just going to be like okay can't keep count so we're just going to get it at the end I'm actually excited to see what happens here. We got uh, to the north. We got squad one from Canada coming in on a flank down the river. And I don't believe they've spotted squad two up on the hill. If squad two pushes down, they basically have free reign over this Canadian squad. Oh, yeah, they're drawing them away, thinking that the main force is down there to the south while they push someone in silently from the north. I think what's helping them push on this north is not having that LAV right next to them, giving off audio cues. Alpha's good with these little flanking operations and being silent and sneaking in. And I'm seeing this sun glare that uh, Lawn Darts was talking about. It kind of just m makes everything hazy. That's yeah, one of the disadvantages of being on the east side looking Wind to the west. Two. I'm down to three effective, including myself. It We're looks like you're right. This, uh, and south. this section tight under Alpha Guido, relatively unnoticed, and they're, what, within 300 meters of the objective. Getting real close with only about five protecting them from getting on top of it. Uh, we're going to have to just hold tight and hold what ground we got. We got some nasty crossfire all over us. All right, understood. Good progress. What, what? If I was in command of Canada right now, I'd be trying to get that LEV in position to provide supporting fire. Right now, it's just, it's, it's, it's doing nothing up there. Unless they're using it to spot and coordinate the pushes. Other than that, I would try and get it in, get those guns. It's got two, two 7.62 calibers on top of it. Get both people just rocking those, putting a, putting cover and fire down, just move the elements onto the point. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd wait for Alpha to get into some contact. And then they start pulling back and then just let the LAV open up on all the forces that are pulling back from them. Now, I'm not quite sure what Squad 2 on Militia is doing with that fire team all the way in India 5. That's very, very far for a fire team to be away from the objective. If uh, Canada pushes oh, wow. the objective now, it's going to be quite a while before Squad Man, 2 gets my, anywhere near uh, the LAV fight. I did not even notice they were all the way up there. Maybe they're protecting against a uh, eastern push. 
Yeah, with yeah, only one go. lat too, no H A T to hunt that uh that that lab. It's just. Oh, I, got close text. I wonder oh, if they I thought there was infantry crossing the top of the bridge, but they were actually at the bottom of it. That could be a good a good reason why. Then you got two lats that are going up the mountain here to the west. I don't know what they're doing all the way up there. Okay, we're most likely not going to get a second shot of this. So we're there's gonna not a lot of militia forces, forces right now between the enemy and the objective. It looks like a case of the militia push people off really far, thinking that Canada is going to be spreading out around the point, whereas the Canadian team is actually relatively close close together. And if they wipe squad one, they're going to have a clear shot right to the objective and saving their brothers. Yeah, up here on the west, it's just down to Hawk and Dashby. Canadian forces down there definitely did a good job of cleaning up the remnants. Oh, yeah, we're at... Well, actually, we're even 10 kills for each side. Yeah, it's squad two's full strength. They're just so far out of the fight right now. That's what's making the, the difference. Come in. This is you. I'm here with what I got left in remnants of four. Yeah, we got squad one. Three, all that's left four, is Hedda and... And Nightmare here, and they're they're within 30 meters of some enemy Canadian soldiers here. It's uh, They're just on either side of the rock. If somebody peeks, they'll see each other. Charlie seven seven nine is where we're taking contact to the west. Let me get a strength. Yeah, Oddball, he he, re or I'm not Oddball. I'm sorry. Alpha Guido called in and said, "Hey, we're in a position. We need to attack it now." And he's starting to move his his forces into the town. Man, this is two. We do not. And we got six full squad yep. three. Canada. He's a, he's within 300 meters. He's within 100 meters. Sorry, of the enemies. Uh, the enemy objective now. Here, maybe two. Yeah, he's pushing in hard as well. Do you feel like you've hurt them a lot, or uh, have they had the best of it? This is the okay, scary like part for Squad 3, though, crossing this open just, part once you leave that tree line. Lines and we're just all over that could be a death down. trap if the militia's looking the right way. All right, Roger, if you can get the word to keep uh, entertaining those guests you have there in the rocks with you while 1 and 3 push the objective, once we have this secure, then you will be uh, breaking... Six folks need to wait for the rest of his uh, squad to get down there with him. He's trying to lead from the front. And just like that, there is a Canadian squad leader right outside the building with his two hostages inside. Oh, beautiful rocket from the militia forces there. Takes out three Canadians there trying to cross the open part. Oh, no. <laughs> I see that. Yep. So that was just what I was saying, that open part, scary, trying to push down the objective from there. That was a beautiful rocket. Man, this is squad three. We are pretty much decimated. Roger three. If you could hold your ground best you can, wait for one to come to your assistance. Please call out contacts. Copy, my, other, my other uh, fire team is pinned down, so I am, I am lone wolfing right now. Big folks, he's hiding out underneath the stairs. I guess he's gonna wait for more forces before he tries to push this building. Still somewhat even, 15 kills for militia and 13 for the Canadian forces. And now squad two is sending a four man fire team across the bridge. Just, they're just gonna be completely caught out in the open away from the objective right now. They're, those four guys are trying to come behind the LAV, but the LAV's moved. The LAV's right on top of the objective. Let's hope uh, Militia has some HAT left to deal with that. If not, at least just a, a lat to pop the tires. God, mobility kill, disable it, engine, turret, something. Yes, please, if you could organize the survivors there, get them online and push each, that would be great. Thank you. Roger, I'll get it together. between me and you three. Oh, poor dicks, folk. Oh, he gets one. 
Roger one, use your LAV. He's trying to run away. Is he going to get behind the corner? Oh, he, he does. just survived. <laughs> Don't repeek it. Don't no. repeek it. Ah, he was throwing a frag. Man, I am engaged and I'm forcing, I'm having a forced to win. Well, that's one less defender for the uh, militia okay. side right there. It was a good kill by Dix Volk. Yes, I engage at least a fire team. Dix Volk's right now must be saying, like, guys, I'm on the objective. I need some assistance. Let's push this point. Yeah, he's As the only person within 100 meters of it. He's, he's calling out, hey, I'm here, I'm getting engaged, I'm just going to go hide. I'm going to wait for you all. <laughs> kind of the gist of what he said. Squad one, can you get your There's only two people behind him. He's got Dashby and Hedda still up in the hills. Yeah, squad uh, squad one with, I think, Rusty, Rusty Shockford is taking over. He needs to get his guys moving, and squad two up in the hill needs to push down and, and get up there to help him. This is squad three. I got contacts in this building direct north of me. That's I may have missed it, but I, I don't know if... Dixfolk called out the building where the hostages actually are. He's called out hostiles in the buildings north of him. I just have a sneaking suspicion that Dashby is going to catch him from behind. But I really think squad two is, I think they're going to catch the Canadian forces off guard. They're going to get confident. And then all of a sudden, they're going to get hit from behind. My money is on squad two for militia to come up behind Londarts. They're going to kill them. And then that LAV is going to turn around and lay waste to them. You got the Canadian commander about to get walked up on on the north side by four man fire team. I'm sure they hear that LAV by now. Then you got the rest of that squad too up there on the bridge. Yeah, Oddball Commander just said those guys need to get moving. They are doing nothing out there. They are 900 meters away from where the enemy team is and their militia's in trouble right now. They need assistance. That LAV's rolling straight in. And I don't see any AT anywhere near for Militia. Do you see any? I think the closest one is... Ashby, maybe? Yeah, this is two. Me and remnants of four are making ground approximately 200 meters from three's position. Roger. There's that... Oh. No, the only AT left is uh, on top of the bridge on a nature hike right now. Ugh. <laughs> Not where you want them. there's contact to the east of us, south of three. Uh, potentially, yeah. Roger, potentially. The noose is slowly circling around Oddbald and his uh, two remaining defenders on point. As the Canadian faction is creeping ever so slowly forward. Yeah, they're doing, Canadian forces are doing a good job on their push, especially up there on the west. I think they, they held their ground real good and they had a lot of good troop movements. Those squad leaders definitely had control of their people. I wonder if Oddball, I mean, sorry, I wonder if Dashby and Head are about to get walked upon by this full squad of Canadians on the south side. Yep, because Daniel saw Hedda. He just tapped him. Give me a Baron. Anything? And now Dashby is the only militia down there on the south side. Let's see how much damage he can do hiding in the grass here. On our side of the road? Should we keep pushing? I mean, I assume there's more of them, so... Or at least I hope so.
Looks like Kuba from across the road took out the Canadians stacking up on the hostage building. That LAV needs to be looking that direction. We got three militia forces engaging the Canadians from the log pile. Oh, you see it? Yes, me, Alexander, and uh, Kuba. Yeah, that LAV has not been an impact so far in this operation, and that needs to change. Not not a lot of fire coming from it. Does pop some smoke for a screen, so that ruins this position. Oh, and the Canadians game. are in. They breached the building. Fulcrum is down. We got Oddball, the only remaining defender, and he gets taken down. There's no militia forces left besides... Is that Sully? Sully is the last defender along these hostages. And he's just watching that doorway while the Canadians get ready to stack up and breach in. Yeah, all they got to do is just get them out into that LAV and take them back to the cop. Who's injured? Hopefully he doesn't die. I'm also wearing sunglasses over the blindfold. Your closest three, oh, pretty cool. three to one in the LAV. Are they communicating with the Canadian yeah. forces outside? Now they are, yeah. Oh, I'm hurt so bad. So Who's they, are saying they calling he needs Sully medic? out? No, they're oh, not. They not haven't called him out. Might not be able to. Oh no, air! <laughs> oh no. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I heard a. Wait, did you get him? Canadian? Unfortunate for our hub. That was a good yeah, effort, though. Well, the the Canadian hostages don't know that he's there because they have blindfolds oh. on. Anybody up there? Oh, that's weird. No, all squads still contact east of three across the road. Hello, my friend is bleeding. I need a doctor. Can you take me to the hospital? They're calling out in local that they need help, but there's no one in local range for them to hear them. Do you hear any right anyway? Copy. What was that one down? Ooh, LAV finally picking up their first two kills of the round on the squad lead and his rifleman to the north. I believe that was Frost. Negative. I do not hear a radio in from the, the militia. Negative, yep, uh, that was Frost. Yeah, that LAV, like I said, hasn't been a huge impact like it should have been so far. Especially with no AT, that, that LAV really needs to start uh, shredding some militia forces and allowing the Canadians to get up uncontested. Yeah, they're probably still waiting to hear like a lat round come at him. Oh, he gets another one. Yeah, because knowing that there's a hat out there or multiple hats... Had me a little a little worried but they also haven't taken any shots so i probably would have guessed oh maybe they're dead now because by now i would have expected to have gotten hit by something we got jeeve over here just proning out high in the bush just praying please don't shoot me through the bush mr lav that is his best bet right now that's, uh, that's, that's helpful. Any and up there Canadian the platoon commander uh, is pushing up with yeah, Dick yeah, Folks. And now there's two Canadians getting ready to breach in and try and save their their brothers who have been captured. And Ooh. down goes platoon commander, taken out from behind by Alexander. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? I'm, I'm trying to that help. squad in the hills, Sergeant Jackson, really needs to get down the hill right Last now. They are just the letting their guys door, bleed out and die as one of the hostages seven. is wounded. And dead. No, hello? Hello? Who? I'm still here. I'm coming. Who? It's just me. I think, I think who fell asleep. Let's see if Dick Folks can get Sully here. He should He'll see his... Fine. Should be able to see this guy that standing barrel right sticking there. Out. Yeah. Help. I'm there goes a frag grenade. Him. Hopefully he doesn't kill his... Uh... Oh, underhand. Good throw. It's going to get him. Oh, get in and save help, Dwarf. Help, help, Perfect. Help. Throw a bandage. Oh, oh no. my goodness. <laughs> Executed the hostage. That's a court marshal right there. No. You are going to Club Ed, my friend. No. That is not a delay. <laughs> oh, well. Um, See, looks like it's just you and me. You got I'm glad we got that recorded. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I may or may 
Yeah. But now they gotta dig down the radio. He just comes across like, I may or may not have just shot one of the hostages. <laughs> Got a little excited. Haven't found it, right? Can't wait until that one day OWI gets rid of all these gnats. All these other flying cameras. Don't try to say you weren't. The little insects. <laughs> You can toggle them off, but when you toggle them off, you toggle the player outlines yeah. off as well. Everything. Yeah. It's just to be one thing. Admin cam off. And like you said, it was a slow start, but kill count now 26 to 25 in favor yeah, yeah, of here, the Canadians. We've lost the vitals on both of our and uh they've located the radio they can hear it dick folks is right beside it he knows it's inside that building looks like kuba's hunting for dicks folks i think that was danger close to oh he's not a he's not a lat kit he is but he missed his last oh, shot okay so he it was missed him. his rocket yeah so he's got he's got a frag round out now i don't know what he plans to do against the lav with a frag round um, maybe pop a tire? Nope. But no. Doesn't pop a tire. Good to know. Frag rounds do not pop tires. And he's loaded another frag round. Danger close. That actually cannot damage the vehicle. Like and Kuba so this just LAV is, uh, it's and impenetrable right now. There's, uh, there's nothing the militia can do really. Except hopefully he runs out of ammo and they have to hop out. Oh, the second frag round slightly damaged the wheel, but did not pop it. And that's all he's got. No more, uh, no more AT. All they got to do is just cover for everyone going towards the radio. Kuba's guarding the radio. Kuba gets taken out by Cole. And now the lab is shooting at Cole. <laughs> Are we going to see our second team kill on the Canadian side, maybe? I thought the Canadians were supposed to be nice. Uh, we can be, occasionally. <laughs> Are there any other defenders near this radio, or is Cole able going to be able to dig it down? Uh, unless yeah. Tinkerbell... Oh, Tinkerbell, I think, may have heard him. If Cole starts digging, Tinkerbell's going to definitely know that he's in there. Definitely. That LAV just needs to watch the front door. I don't know where they're going. You're yeah, leaving, have a line your, of you're leaving on... your man, LAV. Don't leave him behind. Yeah, have a line of sight on the front door in that stairwell. As Tinkerbell works his way in. Oh, I think Cole heard him. He stopped shoveling. He's pulled his gun out. Oh, he doesn't see anything. I think he's going to go back to digging. Oh, frag goes off. You hear that grenade? He's running straight to him. Oh, good shot, Cole. What do we got left for militia? We got anyone near the point? Dashby. Dashby. Uh, Javi. And lagger. Is it Javi? I, I thought it was like Jev or something. Jev. <laughs> Jev. Once again, the lab is shooting at friendlies, digging down the radio. All right, cool. Get in there and finish digging. We believe in you. Yeah, it's just down to three militia forces against the lav. Lav, Cole, and WG. 
It's going to be interesting, too, now with the new game mechanics, when you take a radio down to the last stage, they've implemented the save mechanic. So the radio is going to be un invincible on the last stage for about a minute to two minutes before being destroyed. Oh, you destroyed. know what? That didn't get brought up in the uh, in the meeting. I wonder if uh, once it's dug down, that's considered dug down. You can't dig it back up. And Cole's dug it all the way and gets taken out by Dashby right in front of the LAV. Here comes WG coming up behind Dashby. Let's see if he sees him over the wall. Oh, he's right beside you. Look to your left. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh. He's like, screw this, I'm out of here. Yeah. Now they're going to go to the extract, and I believe uh, either that's going to be GG or they're going to make the last two people actually, or last three people come and look for them. Oh, they see, uh, they see a militia guy in the bush and take shots, but just over his head. Yeah, shooting at a lagger. Ooh, one taps that WG. And the lab punishes him for it. I hope he knows he was shooting a C6 into a cement wall that was not penetrating. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people don't realize what is penetrable and what isn't. What is penetrable? Stone is not. Stone is just not by that caliber of bullets, and yeah. the lab crew comes in behind, takes Jev out, and then almost team kills each other. Oh no. The Canadian faction are, uh, I think they might have had a, too many bottles of maple syrup before deploying on this mission tonight. <laughs> and we got last man Dashby for the militia side. I guess is what is it viper and razor the lav crew yeah they're uh finishing the radio off it's currently invincible and they can't dig it down right now but uh we shall see if they know that and uh there's only one way to look there's only one door they need to watch down this hallway and viper knows that viper's pulling up to the staircase So That's Dash is going to be yep. coming down above him. Let's see if uh, if Viper's able to get the kill. They have to hear him moving around. They got to know he's coming yeah, down. Yeah, they got to know something. Viper's just watching the corner. Oh my god, he turns his back! And he gets taken out! Oh, what a turn his come back. back! Viper! You had one, wow. one angle. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that is it. That is GG for round one. Finishing out with 30 kills for the Canadians and 32 for Militia Forces. Wow. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take a quick break. And then we'll be back with uh, round two. Okay. Good stuff last round. We did okay. Uh, it was a close round. Uh, basically, we have got to do the flip side of what the enemy were trying to do, which was to capture, not capture, um, save the hostages, the two hostages that are going to be at Charlie 8, Charlie 9, okay? We also need to look for some communication equipment, which is a fob, and destroy it, uh, dig it down, and... Um, if we complete what the company command assigns to us, um, so either the hostage mission or the radio, uh, we will extract back to this location, to my understanding. We might uh, get a different location, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to convoy to Bravo 5-7 with the Logimark, and then we'll dismount and spread out into line uh, with the platoon. Rayman's going to take the east, Rubber's going to take the west, Fulcrum, Frost are going to be in the center. Okay. 
Our first objective, however, is to set up a fire support base at Bravo 6. Okay. And then we are, will we will push on to the hostage location at Charlie 8, Charlie 9. Okay. If command is gone to shit and you need to figure out what to do, you need to try and amass as many people as you can and you need to try and push into Charlie 8, Charlie 9 and secure the hostages. Okay. It is important that you do not kill the hostages, as you may have seen the previous round. Make sure you're using local as you are approaching potential hostage sites to communicate with and um, they can't help you, but um, they can at least tell you where they are so that you don't shoot them, okay? When you find the hostages, there's likely to be a barricade. You must de destroy that barricade um, completely in order to have the hostages follow you, okay? Another tip would be utilize the L LAV as mobile cover, okay? Think on your feet. If it's shit is hitting the fan and that thing is still alive, use it. Don't worry about it, we don't need to move out straight. Okay, let's mount up. Let's get ready. Get it going. First, you're mounting up in your LAV with your... Just grab your rock, everybody. Alright. We got the uh, platoon brief from Mob Ball. He's going to start out at Bravo 572. He's going to move on a line stretching east to west, west to east, whichever way you want to go. He's going to go down south. He's going to start out with a fire support base at Bravo 6. Probably going to set up the mortars. And then everyone's going to push down and clear out the compound. I think that's a good plan. He's starting everyone out online. Just jump So that he has forces in the same general vicinity to react to contacts. Anything from militia yet? Uh, militia, yeah, they're just currently just spreading their guys out. They got one time squad on point setting up uh, in the buildings around the HVTs. And then they're basically got a three prong push, one going northeast, one going north, one going northwest. And they're just kind of going to set up like a little bit of like a fighting ambush and then retreat once they engage contact, looks like. Yeah, Eyeball might have to fight for his fire support base from how far one's pushing out. Yeah, they didn't they didn't uh, specify how far they were going to push him out, but uh Let's see if uh, Squad 1 goes and takes over that building. Oh, I like that, that they... That compound, at least, yeah. I like that they covered up the windows with sandbags. Yeah, they don't want those yeah. HPTs seeing anything or being seen at all. Right. With their blindfolds and their sunglasses over top of their blindfolds. <laughs> yeah, Squad 1's getting real close to that compound. They're... What, 100 meters? Actually, they're pushing into where Eyeball wants to set up his fire support base. He might have to move where that that's going to get set. I wonder if he plans on just driving straight into that compound, too. It could spell disaster if uh, the militia pushed a little more north. No, he's actually going to dismount at Bravo 4. Like, kind of southeast of the Y in the road. And then he actually actually has said that he wants his LAV being more of a moving suppression. So we'll get some more LAV that's action. That's still a hike from Bravo Four. Damn, that's oh, we yeah. got a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, he could have came in like maybe Bravo Five. I mean, one's already pushed up close enough. That I think Bravo Five, you still wouldn't have Man, been heard. Nah, if I was them, I would have pushed. I would have pushed up the hill, probably into Bravo Five, and then uh, at the bend in the road, that's where I would have dismounted. Oh, okay, yeah, yep. But Bravo Five Five Five, right in the smack middle there. Yeah, right where you are right now. 
Yeah, I've got a lot of cover and you know, a lot of places you can move off of this. Yeah, you can go further up the hill. Go a little bit further up the hill, like on the other side of this little ditch slash clearing of the trees that kind of winds through towards the uh, red barns down south of where they want to set up their uh, fire support base. So assume your positions. One, you've got the west. You're going the west. Good. Four, you're going east, southeast. Right. Militia have any hats uh, or lats up here on? Oh, see one lat up here. I see one lat with squad one. Yep. And then squad two has one lat and one hat up high on the mountain. Smart. Well, squad one actually has a hat too. He must be hidden on top of. Uh, Okay. Must be like right next to the squally or something. But yeah, it looks like Alpha Guido does have one H A T. And his um, name is Razor. Exactly oh yeah. Razor's not up with him. Or up on the front up here. Because all I see is like Air Hub, Jello, Viper, and Shackleford. Here, yeah, where's uh, reserve is uh south south, south of them by the just north of the co ah okay road. i see him now yeah okay the hostages or the radio equipment at charlie eight charlie nine yeah, yeah this right where map. that lab is, is uh you could have dismounted his whole platoon there okay. but it looks looks like they're just going to be doing a bit of a platoon push trying to take over that cop slap some mortar tubes down They've abandoned their uh, logistics Switch. trucks, though, so I wonder the how they plan on getting those. Line, we will start oh, edge maybe. The yeah, no one's with them. Maybe they're not going to set up mortars. I, I mean, if that's where you're going to set up a fire and support and base, you might want to. I want to. Oh, oddball saying now he's going to go back and get the LA, uh, get the Lodgy trucks. Or logic, like it's two. Maybe he's gonna. He's bringing, he's bringing fulcrum yeah. with him. Oh, okay. I like I like the verticality okay. of this map. It's like we'll one see. main valley that just snakes position. through it, and, then we'll start and it has good firing positions on from actually both sides of the valley. With good eye, you know, good line sight of each side of the valley. Not so much of down in the valley. I guess you could, depending on how you're playing this, could probably move a lot of people inside the valley. Unmolested. But yeah, I've always thought this map would be really cool with like a big, like half ruined castle. Thought that would just yes. fit in really nicely on this map. Yeah. Like one of the middle points, the middle cap on the map would be this, this big medieval ruined castle. It's fun to fight in. As long as it's not like the new, uh, not Citadel. I'm trying to think of the word on Mystia. What are the, what are the three points on Mystia? The towers. Crucible. The crucibles. The new yeah, the crucibles, crucibles are the worst idea that they've ever come up with. I hate them i used to love mystia yeah <laughs> and now i hate it because it's all stone on the outside with little view you know little viewports and then wood floors all you have to do is just sit up on the top and aim down with any type of rifle and you're going to pen through all that wood anyone who walks in yeah they're uh they're pretty cancer it's uh it's hard to fight them and it's hard to fight in them it's not the funnest yeah, for invasion, I don't play it on invasion anymore. Anything but like like R A S S and and A S, I will play Mystia because you can cap other points. But for invasion, trying to take over crucible, the cru two crucibles on the invasion layer, nope, I won't play it. Because too many people funnel into that one door and try to take people out instead of focusing their fire like in the viewports. And just keeping their heads down. And the viewports, you can't even aim down when you're in them. They're... No, you can't. But people try to snipe across, you know, okay. onto the hills okay. towards the waterfall. And then down towards the lower waterfall, too. And it's just like, what are you doing? You're not going to hit anything. 
Sorry to interrupt you, but Squad 1's calling contact. They hear the lav, but they don't know how many infantry, and uh, they're about to get walked up on by the yeah. whole team. Yeah, it looks like two or two squads just walking in right on them. Led by Frost. Got Hawk going in. None of his guys, none of these guys are looking out the windows. They're all just hiding. I wonder if that's the plan, just to hide, let, him, yeah. let them walk in and... Let them, let them get comfortable. Once they're comfortable, then you attack. Could you, could you imagine if they all walked past and then they put the, the mortar fob right behind them? <laughs> and there's a full squad behind them? That would be something. Oh, man. I think it was like almost a year ago I watched uh, streaming and I watched someone on a mortar. I think it was Evan mortaring and he actually got knifed off the mortar. Jello takes out Lagger. Contact E6 build. Contact, contact. Yeah. And everyone on Canada just stopped exactly where they were. Hmm. Joshy. Really good nade by Joshy. Wow. Uh, covering that building. Three. Still got our hub or our herb. Dot damn. See him just peeking through a window. Oh, I'm looking through the window, looking at him. Kind of creepy. And there goes the uh, support fob down for, for the Canadian Armed Forces. See if they throw some mortar tubes up now. And uh... uh, Alpha Guido Squad is in for. Uh... Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping that they clear out. These houses. Um, I'm assuming it's probably a fire tube. Don't put a mortar tube down without clearing out these houses first. And there it is. A fire team completely stopped an entire platoon from moving. Let's um, leave a skeleton crew to cover them buildings. Um, three, I want you to proceed south with the rest of the platoon. So I want a fire team. Uh, and the mortar tube is down. The mortar tube is down and Fulcrum is building it right now. Robert, go ahead. Well, the good news is they, they can't hit him. A rocket just came in. I don't know where that was That's aimed from the. Yeah, I think that was aimed for the windows from those rocks. This hurts Air Herb. Our herb quickly bandages is up. I'm shocked these guys aren't peeking windows. If I was in this situation, I'd be peeking out all these windows, just trying to trying to gain some information. Oh yeah, but definitely stay away from that LAV. Yeah, just do a quick peek. You don't have to stick your whole body out of it. Now just let 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 your squad lead and let your chain of command know what's what's going on right now. For all they know, that the Canadian team could have pushed off past and be right on top of the objective, and Alpha Guido could just be there with two people uh, yeah, watching the buildings. Yeah, you know, you gotta, gotta try and get that information because so like information is the in biggest part of these work. events. Has Alpha been like contacting about any information other than the first contact? Uh, he's just saying there's enemies in his building and they're just holding corners now. Oh, here, popping off up in to the southwest. It's like Hedda tags, uh, I think that's Chick. No, Mantis. Mortar will be online shortly. Give me good reference for five minutes. Standby command. Chicken almost got tagged with a grenade. And I think a, a barrier, or I should say, yeah, the defilade of a rock just saved him. And not anymore. He's been taken out by the uh, little little firebase here with the C6s up and rocking on those hills. <laughs> Sorry, lagger. Someone has to be first. It always happens. You're not the only one. 
Uh, repeat, brother. Lager, when I was commanding back in the day, there was about a, a four week period where I died first as commander. Oh, Every off. No. <laughs> Some, it started with me leading the platoon in formation. And then I was like, you know what, I should probably stay in the rear. And then I'd be at the rear of the platoon, and somebody would flank and kill me. And then I would try and stay in the middle. And then I'd ride in a vehicle, and the vehicle would get towed. It was just a, uh, yeah. A bad, uh, there's about four or five ops in a row of me commanding dying first, so don't don't be too hard on yourself. I believe there's actually a clip on this on this uh, this Twitch of me clearing a building with my face as a commander on Narva and getting killed. Yeah, it, clicked, it, it was probably oh, I don't even remember the name of the op. But you're trying to clear out um the castle. Ooh, that's a rocket. Our hub is just eating all these rockets right now. He's bleeding. He's on his last bandage. He's got no more bandages now. If he gets hit again, he's just gonna bleed out. Yeah, he's he's probably like, you know what? Keep hitting me with the rockets. Why don't you come up here with your gun? Let let's have a one on one. One v one me, Rust. Um, we're good to move out. No contacts at this. Yeah, so for the most part, the entire team is pushed past, and and Squad One still just just hiding in the buildings when there's really only four guys holding them down, and that's why you just, they you just gotta be playing for information, checking those windows, and just you know, oh, look, Squad, they look, the enemies are pushing off, and then try and let your chain of command know those types of things. Got mortars going out. This squad up here on top of the mountain southwest, they've gotten dwindled down to three. Let's see where these tubes land. Ending up here by Phil Nye and Stalker's squad. Oh, right on squad four almost. Short Phil Nye running away. Ooh, gets taken out with some long distance shots from Kuba. Some good shots there. Understood. Good stuff. Command. Now, right now, those uh, those Canadian guys need to be on the horn with that that mortar guy. Those mortars are too short. Push them. Yeah, forward. they have. Yep, they've already called them out being too short. Further That's perfect. Yeah, if they dial these mortars in, there's not much cover for those uh, militia guys. I know they fixed the accuracy on the Canadian forces. Do you think they did enough to fix it for the for the rifles? Yeah, because it used to be like laser the, aim. I think the recoil is they they made it too bad in my opinion. What they they when they they nerf the recoil, I think it just it's it's worse than any other faction now in the game. The recoil is crazy. You try and like shoot your gun like four or five times really fast, and you're just recoils all over the place for the Canadians. But it only takes one shot to the head. We're getting contacts from our direction. Ooh, as you said, that <laughs> razor stood up and got C9 right to the head. And nuclear potato goes down from the C9. That's uh. The light machine gun there for the Canadian Armed Forces. Laying waste right now. It's just putting suppressive fire down. Talking the guns. The slowly getting beat back off these hills and pushed back down towards their FOB location. That's my favorite thing to hear is talking guns. All right, uh, the four-man squad said they're going to try and push the mortar tube now. Let's see if this four-man from Canadians can defend it. As our hub finally gets taken out with bullets to the face. Yeah, he didn't have much health left. I mean, someone probably could have sneezed on him and he would have went down. Alpha's sprinting across. I don't think Joshy's going to see him. Oh, Joshy might have seen him. Joshy gets taken down. Oddball pulls off of the mortars. Yeah, Alpha Guido bandaging. Uh, he's pretty low health. Uh, Still got two guys with him, though, going up against Oddball, the commander. If I was commander here, I'd be yelling at those guys over there. Frost, Jeff, Sir Lancelot, I hear them. Come help me. I am your platoon, I am your platoon commander. Save me. Yeah, he's calling it across. 
He's calling the LAV to come back. Just hide, Oddball. You're too important. Just don't even Yo, peek. We're going to tough squad leader. You're just a whole... Sure. Um, I'm going to try my best to get you some smoke down onto your south so that you can cross the road effectively. Oddball, don't do it. He's going back to the mortar. He's going to try to put down smoke so someone can cross something. I wonder if Alpha and Viper are going to pop up. I mean, they may have, they may not have killed Oddball yet, but they at least got him off the mortar. About to die right here. Just oh yeah. And then I'm gonna... Yep. Oh. Oh my oh, God, Guido. That's Alpha. a huge. That's a choke right there. That is. I would have yeah, waited. Commander dead to rights. I would have waited for him to actually get on the mortar and then popped him. Now Oddball's trying to run away. He might run right for a Rusty. No, he's in cover. Raymond, try your best to get across My the road uh, to yourself. Roger, I'm going to swing east and then uh, bring south. Come... One, le just letting you know, I got con my guys are calling up contacts in A89. The Pelican squad is hot on the heels. Of these militia forces up here on the west side pushing south towards command for the militia now they've been pretty much the militia forces took a beating the kill count right now is is four to ten in favor of canada wow yeah and if uh if the three-man alpha guido squad goes down on the canadian mortar fob that's gonna really really open it up for the canadian armor and the mortars to start yep. and fire as long as they keep them distracted they're doing a good job right now they should just hide so they can't find them just to be that gnat just to be a nuisance And if I was oddball here, I'd be telling my guys around here with that LAV, hey guys, we really need to clear this out so we can get back on the tube and we can free the lav asset up as Frost gets taken down. That LAV should just start circling around trying to find enemies. Just, there's not much you can see from that angle. Well, oddball knows that he got shot from the north. I would put the LAV on the north, blocking him. And then looking the towards um, the I'm north, like have the LAV looking towards the north, just scanning north, east, west, waiting for someone to pop up. I mean, that's kind of like a troll move, like waiting for him to pop up. But at the same time, you can still have your mortars effective as eyeball moves further away from it. And the LAV is moving away also. I wonder if he's just going to say forget it and head to the point. They know they've taken a lot yeah. of ground. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. I mean, they have a strong they have a strong middle push and they have a strong flank on on the east and the west. I'd probably push the east and the west and leave the middle kind of kind of getting like a a sector of fire going maybe get some crossfire for the people pulling back into the compound okay. and what i would try and do here is if i would just say hey lav get us on the other side go around if you have to and get us behind the enemy line just to try and divide the defenders up right now the yep. defenders they're just they're just looking one direction yeah, they're you online. You got that LAV and a, a couple We're infantry behind them. It really just it creates panic and, and havoc for the defense team. Yeah, mix it up. Right now, it it almost looks like a a battlefield rush map. Yeah, everyone's okay. focusing straight onto each other. See where this LAV goes. Go, Let's go, see, is he gonna go right to the back line, like I said? Looks like it's punching through. Command one, we're 
flying off the hill, so I have heavy contacts to our south, and we could possibly be getting flanked from the north as well. Just keep on going, don't do stop. Do. Uh, no, and it's that's... loaded with more than just the driver and a gunner. Yeah, it's got a command and a fire team, so like I said, that's exactly what I would have done as command. Get that LAV with the infantry in the back line. Right. No, don't back get up. Don't road. back up. Get off the road. Don't have your back there. Don't ever put the rear end to where you just drove through and just stop. Drop them off. Drop them off, LAV. Where are you going? This is a mistake. This is how this is how the LAV is going to die if the uh... Oof. Oof. Lucky just uh just one hit there. We're going to suffocate. Yep, they're telling them to get out. Help, help. There's a fire help us. They're suffocating so us. Stay mud. Can we win the back? Go smokes to west. That LAV needs a reposition. Hey, you know they just got shot in the ass. He needs yeah. to be looking that way. Or at least There's put its armor to the front. Got two covering the. Two covering the uh, hostages. That honcho and big tank. Put a lot of moving around. They need to stop moving. Given audio cues. There's a frag That's out a on bad the main run. Oh, okay. Lots a lot just got. Oh. oh. He ate the grenade for Jeeve. He body blocked it. Right That's now? insane. I need cover on me Ooh. right now. I'm trying to I forgot it. that you could do that. No, I'm not alright. I'm not alright. Yeah, but Sir Lancelot almost killed both of them there. Jeeve was trying to run one way, and Sir Lancelot was running towards the grenade. Another grenade out, Jeeve. Run! Grenade, 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 grenade. Oh, whoa! There's a, a lot of big booms going on. I just oh, won my Tim Hortons, eh? <laughs> that LED knows it's all in that building. It's got just looking the wrong direction right now. Who just said all he wants is his Tim Hortons. We're trying our best to get to you guys. Just wait one. Oh, please try harder. Please try harder. So, oh my god, they've, they've had us locked up in here for weeks. Understood. Get in. LAV, LAV. The Londars has moved back in. Big Tank takes up another position near the uh, truck. Generator? Has Londars called his forces back in as the LAV takes another shot? That's what he's trying to do right now. Abba all by himself takes out one. Understood one. Do what you need. Yeah, the commander all trapped alone. Are we going to see a commander versus commander fight? Maybe. We got uh, Matt Concho in the way, though. I am the only one out of the. I'm going to fucking shoot you. If you free us, we'll tell you how to open the hydroelectric dam. Well, they probably don't want to open the hydroelectric dam, door. If you free us, we, we will tell you not how to... Uh, Big Rago's moved in, too. Seen some good things from him. We'll tell you how to close... <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Trade. And Oddball goes down. Canadians are on the point. Sitting at 14 and 14. As militia forces start pulling in, we got a. It looks like a fire team behind Liberal Pundit and Rubber Pelican. Well, Rubber Pelican's squad. Hopefully, he's got someone on the six watching. He's got forces in between him and the compound, and a bunch coming behind him. Canadians are just getting trapped right now. Uh, 
between uh, between squad one and three there on the hillside. The rest of the teams just gotta gotta push in and try and get those hostages out. LAV starting to do some work. Takes down rather Scottish Shep. Looking towards Cole and WG. Looks like Rub is now starting to find out that he's got people behind him. Contact still on the ridge west. I might... Yeah, Gonzo and uh, Nightmare are kind of getting about to get swarmed. Slowly but surely, the command comms for the Canadians are going down. People, squad leads are going down left and right. Yeah, no, the command for militia just got taken out by Kuba. Kuba cleaning up his fourth kill of the round. Honestly, I, so far, I'm going to say it again. The, the LAV has not impressed me. We're 18 v 18 deaths into the round. The LAV has one one kill. The LAV should be out there, like, putting suppressing fire down and, and cleaning up some of these infantry to help their guys get onto the point. It's just not, not performing. Down goes Falcom to Zaki. Now Zaki just holding that corner behind that truck. Nightmare is the only one left up here on the west. He's crawling away as, uh, militia forces start coming in seems alamo has been called and uh they are high tailing it to the hostages oh is rubba gonna see cole or is he gonna get taken out i think rubba's the last command okay I need you to do something for me. Oh no. Bridge. Oh. Cole catches him from the bushes. Up, oh, LAV catches Cole. I think the prisoner location plus the radio within such close proximity has worked out greatly for militia forces. Basically, I've been able to cover two sections, two sections with two people. Kubik tags Matt. Oh, that sounds bad. No, it sounds good. It's good. Dorf, I got Finishes one. them all. Finishes two. I got two, Dorf. I'm going to get you that double-double, okay? That sounded like Please a double-double double right here. there. Yeah, that was. That was a double-double. I'm not sure what half rat shooting at here. Shooting at the bushes. Me. Just making sure there's no Viet Cong hiding them, maybe. You guys are gonna and we got Kuba just clearing out the infantry here. He's uh, putting the team on his back right now with uh, six kills this round. Him and Jenkins. Every time. Always going to have a lot of kills from those two. Especially Hold Jenkins. Right now the... they're trying to find the door to get them out. They're they're undigging and they it's, it's a wall. It's a window, Kuba. Yeah, now now the Canadian forces have compound so they're using those empty well those see-through fences as their for their benefit still got uh who is this slinging slasher inside the compound but gentle one gentle one's getting shot at still 
Kuba goes down trying to get the dwarf and CG foo. I'd have been slinging slasher to tag him. Nah, it looks like dwarf's been hit through the wall this time. He's bleeding out. So you can't. You, you might. You might get team killed two two rounds in a row, dwarf. Oh no. <laughs> So we got what four militia forces left uh we got storm shaggy the uh, hashling and slasher and gentle one is all i see so yeah four versus silent shimmy the two in the lav and nightmare i believe that's it got two good strong shooters in nightmare and silent also and Silence rocking that C6. That's a one shot to the body. It's going to take anybody down. I mean, not, it's not been working, bro. I guess I'll get killed off this. I'm not juggling this. No, no, no. Get off that thing. Reverse Tinker. Let's pick up Smear. Oh, what a fuck. What a what a and LAV is going to try to pick up Shmi after picking up Silent. Silent decides, yeah, I'm not going to gun in the uh, the open open uh, parapet. I think they'll drive us back into the compound by the uh, hostages. I think they're driving on what? Two busted wheels? That's what it sounds like. I think they're yeah, they're, uh, uh, their the engine north. sounds like it's damaged right now. Ah. Yeah, Dorf died. Down to Foo. I don't know what's going on with the driving. If I'm uh, correct, they're going to try and body block, I think, uh, the door here and get some shovels out on it. I don't think Nightmare has any command comms. Oh, he's taking some shots. Oh, he takes down Storm. Still got Hash Slinger. T, all that's left. Oh, what a flick by Silent there. Take him out. That was beautiful. Oh. Beautiful pickup right there. Wow. And we're down to the final militia, I believe. And the lab is shooting out oh, friendly. Oh, there it is. That's a GG. There we go. GG round so the two. the Canadians this time able to clean it up a little more cleanly, but uh, yeah, that was a good op. Yeah, they did good. It's a, it's a good uh, first time running this one. I will, have to, I will have to say, hands down, I like the power play ops. I'm liking them. I like how they're playing out. I, I think it's also just because it's using the Canadian forces. We haven't used them in ops before, so it's always been uh, been interesting.